I'm just gonna pause for a second. Um, hey, welcome back to Prey. I just went from, remember I ended the last episode in my office, and I was gonna go to the Arboretum and continue on to deep storage and or crew cabins. I was thinking I would just have a nice, peaceful return to the Arboretum through the main elevator, and then the power went out in the elevator, and now this is happening. Welcome back. <laughs> Here. Because I know I didn't explore near... Oh, it's the nightmare. I think? Yep. Yep, that's definitely the nightmare. There's no timer this time. Oh, there we go. Look at how overpowered I am. I took it I took it down like eight shots. Give me your science meats. Right, so as I think I was saying before, where have I explored and where have I not? Like I know I went up there. I remember the greenhouse. Um I think I just haven't explored off to the sides, right? Alex U's office, I need to go there. The bridge. I'm not sure where deep storage is. Loading bay. Hmm, let's try this way. Oh wait, I think I have been... Yeah, yeah, I remember. That's the body and then the bloody hole up there that you have to go into. That's uh, my first entrance to this place. There we go. Shortcut unlocked. Oh, Bellamy's cabin's over there, apparently. Alright, let's go this way. from 6 to 8pm. Oh my god, I think it actually worked. I think that's a different one. It's gotta be a mimic, right? Oh no, it's an evil bot. <laughs> it's getting downright ornery. 
Just jumping at the bit to hurt me. Oh, there's two. I think I just have to open it to kill him. There's, this thing isn't open, so I can't just shoot inside. Alright. Crew. Oh, it says Alex Yu is still in the Arboretum. Yeah, I doubt it. It's probably just that he left his tracking bracelet behind at his office or something. Nice. Two maps. Materials. Yeah, I think I did kill one. Because the one that I... Uh, the one that I ended up shooting after the first one... I think I had full health. And I definitely did damage to the first one, so I'm pretty sure I took it out. And there was just more than one. <laughs> oh, I love breaking glass! Looks like you can, like, lift yourself up onto glass that then breaks. That or I'm lifting myself up onto the, like, the edge. Maybe I'm not sure. See what's on the menu. Oyster omelet. With tomatoes. Char grilled siska eel. Siskak eel. In lemongrass and turmeric. Metal oat. Metal oat. Whatever that is. Lemon capellini. I don't even know what that is either. Some sort of caviar. Pasta with beans and lightly fried sunburst bananas. Mixed green salad with sky king pomegranate seeds and pecans. Lemon meringue pie, apple fritter. Sounds delicious. Ah, I need a key card for crew cabin. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I've got so many key cards for inside of crew cabin, but not for crew cabin itself. Hello, nice to see you.
Well, guess I've got no choice but to go up here for now. Actually, wait, isn't there a pathway over here? Yeah, where's this way go? Ooh. Sorry. Greenhouse checklist. Check phosphate levels of plants in quad 2. Reduce sprinkler cycle. Dr. Howard's experimental plants. Something about watering them. Oh, greenhouse password. Well, doesn't matter anymore. Bench plaque given by William Yu. Let's spend that weapon upgrade. Yeah, I think I was in the process of upgrading the Q beam, right? I think I maxed out the glue cannon, didn't I? Yeah, at least the incapacitation rate. Six firing time is max, but let's upgrade the power. What a cool tree. Yes, just wait for passing phantoms. Seems the prey has become the hunter. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Alex Hughes' office is this way. I just assumed... <coughs> I just assumed it was inside of Kirk Quarters. Ah, I think I had something stuck in my throat. I think I'm good now. Yep, yeah, so Alexi's office and deep storage. Just for the fun of it, I've got so many recycler charges. I know it doesn't accomplish anything, I can get to the door behind there, but... Just for the fun of it. Plus you can see just how dang accurate my pistol is now that I've upgraded the accuracy so much. Minerals. Synthetics. Oh, whoa. Hack four? Four? That's the max level, right? I don't think I've ever hacked anything level four. Yes. Okay, here we go. It's gotta be something good. Each one of those had some ammo, too. Nice. Those are rare. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't say it was amazing, but uh, that is a lot of raw materials, if nothing else. A couple pistols and a shotgun. And a decent amount of ammo. How's my inventory looking? It's pretty packed, but not full yet. Looks 
Arboretum is so large. The bridge. like that tree is a good way to get up there. Could easily climb it. Operator approach. Anyway, let's check out the bridge. Good evening, Talos. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact him. Oh, it's his own instance. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Okay, what is that though? Looks like a dead body, but is it really dead? Scan complete. More specimens required. Greater mimic. I don't think I've ever looked at the description for them, right? Preliminary observation reveals that specimen 14 is moderately larger than any of the other mimic specimens collected from the Kletka incident, but a far more fascinating aspect is what appears to be its advanced mimicry ability. Specimen 14 has on numerous occasions demonstrated the capability of reproducing objects whose size and complexity far outstrip the abilities of any of the other specimens. What's more, many of these reproductions appear to be fully functioning. See how much the sneak damage would do. Oh, what? You think I don't see you? Still haven't used a Typhon lore. Yeah, why is there a corpse here? There's no turrets. I certainly didn't do it. I've never been here. Hmm. What if I just throw an object into a grav shaft? It made a graph noise. Not that you'd really be able to tell if it's working since it goes down anyway, right? But the one that goes up, you could definitely tell. I gotta throw something in that one. See if it goes up. Gotta remember to look up. See if there's any vertical secrets. Oh, wait, there is a turret here. Now, this one couldn't have possibly killed that one over there, though, right?
Style there. Ooh, who chips it? Resistance to fire damage. What do you have for me, Cothran? Chief, yeah, so I checked that flight plan for the volunteer shuttle like you requested. You're right, it went dark for 12 minutes before it resumed a path towards Earth, but at a slightly different trajectory than before. It's almost unnoticeable, like it left from a different part of the station or changed its flight pattern around Talos. 12 minutes? What about the other shuttles? It's only the volunteer shuttles, but it's all of them. They go dark 8 to 10 minutes after leaving the station, then suddenly reappear. The VIP shuttles don't show the same... irregularity. Got it. Don't talk to anyone about this. About what, Chief? Exactly. Good work, Matt. Elazar out. What was going on with the volunteer shuttles? Hopefully we'll find out more. It's getting bigger. Is it gonna come out here? I think that door's locked. I think, <laughs> I think it saw me through the blinds or something. Also, I had a thought. If those had if those greater mimics can mimic larger objects with apparently perfect accuracy, what if there's an even greater mimic? What if there's the greatest mimic? And what if Talos 1 is now actually a mimic and I'm inside of it? No, that's stupid. Is that a children's drawing? Looks like Earth and a space shuttle, and I don't know what that is. I'm assuming Talos 1. But I don't know. Or maybe the moon or something? It's gonna look like craters. SOS from a Kirk Remmer. I was gonna route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pods in life support? So call Chief Show up in deep storage. I'm not a network engineer. You're his supervisor? Lady, do you people even know what is happening down here? One of my cargo bays is blown wide open, and I've got multiple MIAs. Please tell me there's a medical team on the way. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can relay your message to Dr. DeVries and- Christ, I've gotta go. Where is Kirk? Objective completed? Did that start a quest to find a body that I had already found or something? Okay. Where are you? Hello, Penny. The operator I sent to you is cycling now, unable to locate you. Is there something wrong with your tracking bracelet? Did you leave Talos? LOL. I heard there was an accident down in Cargo Bay. Hope you're okay. Let me know when you get this. Um, readings around Talos. Hi, Peter. 
At last I have a free day to take solar energy readings from around Talos to validate shielding efficiency. I'll be all over the place for the next 24 hours and will post my itinerary below. Please let me know if you'll be running any particle processes since it may influence my readings. Thanks. We are running a variety of processes that may influence your data. I have your itinerary, so I will dispatch a science operator with some tools to help you get clean readings. Keep a lookout for it. You seem to be surprise birthday party. Hey everybody, talked with Captain Marks and she agreed to give us a half hour at end of shift tomorrow to celebrate Yuzumi's birthday. If you bring a present, put it in the small table in the briefing room. We'll all head in there under the guise of a meeting and surprise her with a toast and presents. I'm going to pester Will for a real cake. Fingers crossed. I did check for emails on this computer, right? Yeah, no emails. Can't hack it. I could just easily break through there. Actually, is there even a window here? I'm not sure there's even a window there. Well, I better deal with the enemies in that room because they keep seeing me. Okay, is there a window here or what? There is. It just was like literally invisible. <laughs> This thing's kind of in the way now. Okay. That helps. Oh shit. Big one's here. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Ah. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. There's definitely more mimics in here. Laser weapons and more power. Maxed out. Oh, we got two more. Huh. Is there anything more I can do for the shotgun? No, it's literally maxed out. What about the pistol? I could get even better accuracy. I really don't need better accuracy, though. Blue cannon, I suppose? Better reload speed? Sure. Better range? Sure. And I probably have a bunch of neural mods now. Seven. Better well fed bonus. I'm doing pretty well on health. I'm not running out of med packs or anything. Psy doesn't really matter. Increase effectiveness of Psy hypos. Don't care. Psy pool, don't care. Uh, I don't really care about the psychoscope installation things, to be honest, because I'm not focusing on Psy. I could get the last level of combat focus, not that I need it. Dismantle, eh. Become really good with a wrench. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Ah, uh, better sneak attack damage should be pretty good. Gain the ability to sprint with ludicrous speed and to jump incredibly high. That sounds amazing. But 
Let's try it. Okay, so sprint. It's pretty damn fast. And jump. Oh man. That is <laughs> that is much higher than before. This is really fun. the mimics. Okay, that is cool. Oh my god, I don't I don't need to like climb over railings like this anymore. Instead, I can just jump over them wholesale. Look at that. It even makes a cool swooping noise. Whew. Can I get up there? Oh god, mimics. Actually, I don't hear any mimics. No, there's no mimics here. Oh, it's the celebration. Pretend they're having a meeting and blew a bunch of confetti and stuff for Izumi. Sky. I think they're the one that sent out the email to everybody about the about the surprise party. Which one was it? This one. While I'm killing a typhon, there's a chance to trigger a fear blast on other nearby typhons. Hmm. No thanks. that requesting new operator transfer code 14 clear of aperture all sorts of things up there. Looks like a jungle gym. Something behind this stuff, isn't there? Is this a, a hint that you should try to get up here? I love this jump so much. I should have gotten this long, long ago.
Alright, let's go up even higher. Oh. Nothing up here, I guess. It really feels like I'm missing something, though. for the new hires and wipe that smile off your face I know you're smirking I just pray there's no new f uh, folks in psychotronics as part of the earthside rotation Ugh. agreed and I still can't believe you agree to that extra neural mod knowing how creepy those psychos are but worse their lack of personality is contagious even Morgan's got glassy eyes now hasn't smiled or made a joke in what a month a year Is that it? Have I gone up here? Observation deck. Oh no, uh, captain's loft. I don't think I've been there. Nope, definitely not. Talos, we'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the station counselor. 
We know the projects aboard Talos-1 are exciting, but even the brightest minds need adequate rest. Oh, I've already got one of these. I wonder if you can install two and get double protection. Uh, what? <laughs> right. So when you loot the body, it just doesn't have collision with the sofa anymore. All right. Flight log, Scott Parker. Shuttle Advent. Didn't I read this? I read a flight log. I don't know if it was this one. No, I did read this one. Yeah, this is the shuttle that got close to Talos 1. A second shuttle appeared on radar. It was military. Facility running dark. No lights. Radar transparent. Yep. Setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Welp. I, I thought your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. The golden gun? Am I about to get a new type of gun? Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark's out. Thirty minutes, huh? It's a hell of a lot of people to put in danger. The entire Earth. I'm not gonna detonate it. I guess if I don't detonate it, I just have to wait. Mars, before it's too late, I thought you needed to know that the shuttle advent departed just before the first alarms. I did go through standard inspection, but that was before we knew what to look for. If they land in Seattle with one of those things aboard. I've enabled the scuttle charges on advent. They can be activated remotely from the bridge. It's in your hands, Captain. They will touch down soon. For what it's worth, they have no idea the scuttle charges are enabled. Captain Marks? 
Your transcribe is offline, can't reach you, and I know you wouldn't leave Talos while there was still a crew aboard. I know it's a long shot, but if you get this message, contact me. I'm in cargo bay at the moment. I have a handful of survivors with me. I hope you're okay. Station-wide announcement are pre-recorded. Announcements are pre-recorded and played according to a regularly scheduled rotation. I can turn those off, thank god. Evacuation announcement. Emergency evacuation message. Message cannot be triggered without authorization from Alex Yu. Twenty seconds. I feel like something's gonna happen when that, you know, counts down to zero. But I'm not gonna know, right? I'm just not gonna know. If I had activated the explosives one second before it touched down, does that mean it would just explode while like landing on the landing pad in Seattle? Secrets? I don't think the secret's up there. I feel like there would be more to do on the bridge. But I guess we're done with the bridge. Been over there, been over there to the briefing room. Yeah, I think that's it. All oh, right, we still got to go down to the escape pods. Forgot about that. Let's take this with me. Oh, there's things. But the important test. <laughs> well, it didn't exactly go up straight, but yeah, it works. Try again, buddy. There you go. <gasps> well, that was hidden in the corner. Just gonna... <clears throat> Just kind of inch along. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Grab this. Got him.
I think it's just a repeat of the far scan. Yep. Talos. A word from our security chief, Ms. Alizar. I thought I'd turn that off. To protect your co-workers' privacy, security terminals are reserved for authorized uses only. If you're not wearing a blue uniform, you're probably not authorized. Do you think something as big as the tarp could go up in there? Ah. I'll leave it untested. Yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, back to the Arboretum. Two ways to go from here. Let's try this way first. Oh, there's two of them. Thermal Phantom and Voltaic. God, what was the thermal one susceptible to? Is it under research? Yeah. Where are you? It's not that. There you are. Oh, it's only weak to psychic. Maybe I can just get them both. Use office. <laughs> I have level four hacking. I can do it, but I think a more fun way would be to take the tree. You know, deep storage. That's where I need to go. Not only for the side quest from that person. Uh, I don't remember her name. The person wanted me to find information on uh, Michaela. Yeah, so that's in deep storage, but also the main quest as well, so I don't want to go there. What the? <laughs> Someone had a pizza party. Using synthetic material as baseballs. Nice. It's transfixing. It's 
Star Vader Cycle, Book Four, backstabbed in the <laughs> backstabbed in the face. What? <laughs> you can read this if you want to. Okay, so just so I don't lose my sense of where I was. From here, I went over there for the baseball thing. So now I'm just kind of exploring the back area. So this is moving over towards this other pathway. Oh, fucking Christ! I just wanted to look at the pretty lily pads. Oh, that's right, I remember seeing this place from down below. Coming through. <laughs> it's just such a cool effect. Right, I remember this place fondly. That's the place right there where I took the explosive and then when I set it down it exploded in my face because it just kind of freaked out. Hold on, suit repair. LB and EJ, or EG, rather. Oh, there's so much vertical exploring I can do in the Arboretum. Look at how big that tree is. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Thing looks like a muscle. It's a sad day when my max upgraded inventory runs out of space. Haha! <laughs> some vertical exploring. I'm going to look around before I go to up to Alex Yu's office. Really pretty to look at. This game's just gorgeous. <laughs> you can see all the construction material holding the stuff up. It's really cool. Another little party. 
the hell happened here? Coming through. I think that's Alex G's office up there, isn't it? Moving. Well, I think that's the last, like, major vertical place to explore, so I guess I might as well just go there, huh? Actually, hold on. There might be something down here. Aha! There is. Can I play that? I'm not getting the prompt. That's odd. Can I play it at all? Uh, it doesn't seem to be there. I mean, this is the golden gun one. I already listened to that. Newest ones are at the top, right? I have to go back and look at the footage and see what it was called, but it doesn't seem to be there. I mean, there can't be duplicate transcribes, can there? Good evening, Talos. Registration for the Talos Employees Talent Show is now open. See Galen in the crew quarters front desk to reserve a slot. The announcer sounded so unhappy. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm guessing Alex Yu's office is going to be quite large and have a lot of information, so I'm going to save it for the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go check out Alex's office. <laughs>